get people signed up because um, that's the kind of commitment that we're going to need on the ground on a day-to-day -day basis. So my main job here today is to say thank you. And as Clay has said, nothing's going to stop us from getting this done because we're on the right side of history. It is the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do for our economy, our businesses, and our families. Now, last point I want to make. I know that sometimes this task is especially challenging uh, here in the great Lone Star State. Um, but, but, but I think that uh, all of you understand that there's no state that actually needs this more than Texas. <laughs> think about it. We were, just t we were just talking on the way over here that in addition to signing people up for the marketplaces so they can uh, buy private insurance, part of the Affordable Care Act was expanding the number of working families who would qualify for Medicaid. Now, because of a Supreme Court ruling, it's voluntary. Which states decide to expand Medicaid coverage, which don't? Here in just the Dallas area, 133,000 people who don't currently have health insurance would immediately get health insurance without a, even having to go through the website if the state of Texas decided to do it. There's over $500 million just for this county that would come in to help families get health insurance that had nothing to do with the website if the state of Texas made this decision. And your neighboring states have made that decision because they look at it and they say, this is a no-brainer. Why, why would we not want to take advantage of this? So the state of Arkansas has already reduced its number of uninsured by 14% already, just in the first month, by signing people up for expanded Medicaid. 14%. State of Oregon, 10% reduction in the number of uninsured already in the first month. Right away, folks are signed up just because the governor and the legislature there made the right decision. There's no reason why this state can't do the same. And when I, you know, I mentioned that in the Dallas area, it's 133,000 people who stand to benefit. Across this state, you've got a million people, because this is a big state, a million people, citizens, who don't have health insurance that could get health insurance right away if the state of Texas decided to take advantage of it. So uh, one of the things that sometimes gets me a, a little frustrated, although I understand it because I'm in politics, um, <laughs> is folks who are complaining about how the website's not working and you know, why isn't Obama fixing this and all these people are uninsured and yet they're leaving a million people right now without health insurance that they could immediately fix. There's not a lot of logic to that. But that's okay, because we've gone through barriers before. Uh, we have gone through struggles before. Uh, eventually, though, if you stick with doing the right thing, uh, you get it done. It'll happen. All right? And so, so I just want all of you to remember that uh, as challenging as this may seem sometimes, uh, as frustrating as you know, healthcare.gov may be sometimes, we are going to get this done. And when we do, when we do, not if, when we do, you're going to have families all across this great state of Texas who are going to have the security and the well-being of high-quality, affordable health insurance. And that's going to be good for business. 
It means that all the providers around here, instead of having to take in folks in the emergency room, they suddenly have customers who have insurance. That means those of you who already have health insurance, your premiums will not be subsidizing folks who don't have health insurance. People will get preventive care, which means that people are likely to be healthier. And that's within our power. That's within our grasp. So uh, this is a pretty motivated group. Yeah. This looks like a group that's ready to go. I'm here to tell you that I'm going to be right there with you the entire way until we get this done and everybody in Texas and everybody all across this country have the affordable health care that they need. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the state of Texas.